Well, good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little video. Tonight is Sunday, December the 5th, 2021. It is exactly 10 p.m. here in Southern Illinois or 04 UTC. Where the year is just about over with. That's just incredible. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the EIBI database schedules to follow you in SDR console. In my last video I showed you how to do it in SDR Uno. But it's the same thing. We have to launch a browser and we have to go to EIBI database which is EIBI space dot DE and you can see the latest update is November 21st, 2021. And again, like as an Uno, we want the CSV database. I've already downloaded that to my downloads folder. You can download it to my documents, wherever you want to keep it. But I just download it to the downloads folder. So once you do that, you can cancel that out. Okay, now we're going to open console. Now this is not local interference. We are having a thunderstorm right now with a little bit of lightning and it is wreaking havoc with my shortwave tonight because it is pretty strong and it's passing just to the northwest of us. But it's enough to, I can really hear the lightning. But anyway, what we're going to do in the view right here you can see where it says frequency database. Let's click that. Now if you have an old frequency database in here, it, there'll, be, there'll be stuff here. If not, it'll be blank like this. I deleted my other ones just so it, you can see how I do this. So once this box is open, you go to these three dots right here. Show the frequency database options. You click on that and you'll get this box right here. Now here we see EIBI, we're going to click that and you'll get this box. Now the file is located in my downloads folder and as I said you can save it wherever you want but wherever you save it you gotta find it. So we know it's in my downloads so I click the little folder and right there it is B21. So I'm just going to click it, open and right here. There's nothing right here, so don't worry about that. And the first thing we're going to do is load them. So just just click the one and we're going to let it load and it might take a few seconds because it's 14,600 plus entries I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's got to load all of that into its uh, little folders or whatever it uses. So once we get that loaded, <coughs> excuse me, got my throat's dry. So once we get that loaded, we're going to add to database. So click add to database and we want to replace. Don't add because if you add and you've got things in there, you're going to have doubles or triplicates and everything else. So we're going to replace it. So click replace and it's going to fill this database up and give it a few seconds here and there we go and now once that's done we can close this and you can see this should appear right here EIBI 14,607 entries now we're done with this box so we can just close this out and now you can see we have frequencies here so let's start this and listen to these this lightning storm I'll leave the volume muted or way low yes this is that lot you know so let's uh, yeah, let me get this way down there okay let's go to 6,000 and you'll s and make sure this little checkbox right here, track the current active receiver. Make sure that is checked. 
and it should be kind of a green color if it's checked. So let's go to 6,000, and you can see it changed. We know that's uh, Radio Havana, Cuba, so you go here, we know it's 4 UTC, 1 to 5 UTC, Cuba. Let's go to Radio Romania right now, it's on 6020. And you can see right here, 6020 Radio Romania from 4 to 5 UTC. Now if we was to go to WWCR, get on frequency, and 3 to 05 UTC is stare, and I can hear him so we know that's who that is. Go back to Romania. And we're back to Radio Romania, and it just it will just follow along. Now, when you get ready to close this, you don't have to dis you don't have to disable that or uncheck it or anything, just close it out, and it's uh, it'll save it. So then, when you go back and launch it, it'll it'll start following you again, pretty easy. So now let's go to a Let's go somewhere where, let's go way up to 17 megahertz. It's, it's quiet up there, there's nothing going on. Now, some have asked me about the names that I have in the green up there. And what that is, that is markers. So, it's not a database I downloaded, I just added stations as I hear them and I remove them. And how you do that? Let's just pretend now. I know that they do not broadcast on this frequency, and I don't think they ever have, but let's just use our imaginations. Let's just say that the BBC is broadcasting here right now, and we come across it, and we want to add that name. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go up here to view the markers here with this little down arrow. Click that, select Add Current, and this box is going to pop up and you'll see the frequency is already in there and as again let's pretend like I said we're just pretending let's pretend the BBC is there and they're broadcasting at 04 UTC so we know what that is so now we, once that's in there we just click OK and you see it appears right there with the little arrow pointing to the frequency all right, let's say now the seasons change, times change, BBC don't broadcast there anymore. So we want to remove that. There's no use having it there. So we're going to go to view, markers, configuration. And we're going to go down here to, it's in order where we at, 17. Here's where we added. 17, and we're going to delete it. And we're going to close it and you'll see it disappears and you can just add add stations as they come on as you find them and as you're tuning and I find it useful to add the times uh, you know that's how you do that and um, let's see if we go to favorites and we go to uh, let's do some places kinda of quiet right now 25 I still got some stuff coming in 25 and this is kind of a new feature I think he's added. It tells you the shortwave bands. And um, that is where, let's see, where did he put that? Uh, let's see, I did, I did know, but um, yeah, we'll do that on another video. So um, look for that on another video. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Band plan right here. It's next to the markers. So band plan. Show the band plans in the spectrum window. Click on the arrow, and the main RX higher. You can you can edit. Here's all the band plans that shows up. They have the ham bands, the long wave bands in there, and you can you can edit the frequency range and do all of that, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, and it tells you what it is. And there's other functions in here. We'll go over sometime. A lot of it is just performance issues. There's not really the tuning bars here. 
is um, you can if you turn this on you can see the the tuning bars this little green area stays in the waterfall I don't know if you can see that or not let's go up to a higher frequency where it's quieter yeah here we go you can see the little green tuning arrow right there and if you don't want that you just turn tuning bars off it disappears and you just have your tuning bar up here which is pretty cool that's another feature and of course you can change your color fall that's been in there waterfalls the color fall what am I talking about uh, signal history uh, signal meter analog digital default accuracy best that's new it really makes the signal meter accurate and just little things like that and most of it is just like I said performance issues and um, just a few little things he's added so yeah that's how you add the database to the you know EIBI database to your tuning and let it follow you so you can follow and see what the schedules are and how to add the stations as you tune across and you want to add them so anyway with that I'm going to end this video because it's lightning pretty good outside right now as you can see my waterfall and uh, power down for the night so thanks for watching everyone I appreciate everyone's stopping by watching these little videos what listening to me ramble a little bit uh, likes and subscribes are always appreciated if you want to and um, but anyway thanks for stopping by and spend a little time watching my videos and take care everyone and I will see you on the next video take care everybody